Hello, this is Svetlana Shapitsina and this tutorial is about using AngularJS directives in WebStorm application. I'm using Vim and WebStorm Remap shortcuts during my work. All of them you can find at my Google Plus profile. So here is our profile application inside of uh, Snifter's application and we have several views. It's about uh, photos. Uh, puppies, details, testimonials, and inside of each view uh, we have nested views. It's their added state for details. It's uh, details edit. You can see URL and uh, for about it's about edit. Everything similar. And uh, how uh, everything works. Inside of WebStorm in app TypeScript, uh, you can find all states that I showed. It's our profile abst abstract view, and inside of profile we have another nested view. It's, it's about in this case. Inside about we have added, and you can see that now we don't pass any controllers, not only inside of profile, but also in profile about profile about edit it means that all these states are managed by index controller and we can find it when we open index html file and here it is ng controller index controller and inside we have uh, our main view ui view its profile and inside of profile we have our navigation bar our links and then we pass our nested view uh, that is each of our views that we have in future and uh, I will close it for now and everything managed by almost everything managed by index it's our main controller and before we used functionality when we created uh, controllers for each of our views, separate controller. But then we realized that uh, we, uh, in fact, we don't need them. We need just our index controller. And here it is. And uh, when I click here, uh, you can see that we still have some of them but uh, we already deleted about controller and about edit controller and I just left edit TypeScript to show how it worked here is our index controller and edit controller and I real realized that we have repetitive methods in edit controller and in photos edit, in puppies edit, we uh, use the same methods and it's uh, for example show success, show error, get global and another. We can find it in index controller now. And uh, when we open each of our views, in our case it's uh, profile about HTML, uh, we can find just a couple lines of code here and when we click on about we have uh, find uh, we can find a lot of information and the same in about edit and uh, profile about edit i need to open it here it is i have an license and i can move it here okay profile about. Uh, so here is our here are our views profile about and uh, here is nested view uh, profile about edit with controller index controller. So uh, beside uh, managing all our views index uh, controller also manages our directives that we pass here. Directive about info and about info edit can see here index controller and why we uh, do this uh, when we open our uh, when we open TypeScript file for about um, 
about info TypeScript. Here it is. Uh, we can find here uh, such fun uh, functionality uh, that we create a separate scope inside of each directive. Uh, that is one of advantages of uh, creating and using directives that we can separate and scope on each of them and uh, that in, uh, so significantly increase modularity of our application and inside of each uh, inside of inner scope uh, on link function we have possibility to create a separate functionality that is unique for this directive and beside this we uh, pass also our main controller index controller like an object here with equal sign it means that uh, each directive that uh, has this object index controller has access to all methods from index controller so we can uh, create them only once and then uh, you have access to them uh, from each part of your application and now we don't need uh, we used to create separate functionality also in each directory in typescript file but then we discovered uh, that in about view we have kennel name with added functionality and in details views the same kennel name with added functionality so uh, we needed to create the same function save can save kennel name that we use in profile about uh, in about info edit directive and i will close it for now and uh, here is our about info and uh, uh, on save button with ng click we pass our index controller now and uh, run function save kennel name and uh, using a uh, main controller we need to create it only once uh, so uh, in this case when uh, we use directive with, when we pass directive for each view but uh, we still need um, uh, we still need to pass the same information the same property to different places it's better to use uh, main controller and create all methods uh, that can be uh, uh, that can be reached uh, from any part here in main controller and in, when we open our about info uh, TypeScript about info and about info edit here is here are our directive TypeScript files uh, in about info we don't have any additional any unique functionality on link function we just create everything uh, and, pa and pass our directive in view profile about here it is about info and if we in if in future we need anything we can create it inside link or index control and uh, inside about info edit we have a separate scope we have link function and inside of inner scope we have reset fields method and uh, we pass proper we define properties here for this method and this method we use in our uh, profile uh, maybe it's closed profile html oh no not here sorry it's uh, in our another directives another directive profile buttons and uh, this directive uh, we 
uh, use inside of about info edit template here it is profile buttons and uh, we passed they uh, on each view it's our details edit here it is and when we open each of our views in edit state we have the same buttons uh, everywhere and uh, when we uh, in the beginning we didn't have uh, functionality with separate directives we try to uh, pass all these buttons uh, inside of uh, each of this directive but it's also not correct because if you need to change something you even name of button or use uh, icon instead of button you need to change it in each part in each view so we created separate directive profile buttons and we pass it uh, just like directive inside of another directive and when we open profile button typescript profile button typescript here it is you can see that uh, we don't create a here inner scope since we don't need it uh, because we pass it inside of another directive and it already has inner scope with uh, object index index uh, controller and then we create another one inside um, it's n we really don't need this functionality so in this case we just omit it and uh, inside of profile buttons first of all we have link cancel it's not button it's just link and with ui ref we use a caret sign uh, it means um, move one level up and uh, this uh, button cancel this link is universal uh, for all profile views and uh, uh, that's why it doesn't have any specific method we use a just link and next button result fields a result fields but it's button uh, that uh, set different properties uh, to null on each directive and uh, it has fu function reset fields with different properties um, uh, unique for each uh, directive and when we open about info edit uh, type script file we can find here this function reset fields with all properties that you need uh, that we need to create empty to clean and when we click on it we reset all fields and in future we need to create uh, uh, the same functionality in each directive for example in for details because we need to pass every time different properties and next uh, button it's save and it's button with universal function for each directive uh, and that's why we specified it in index controller and uh, here it is save with all functionality we uh, define it once and use on each directive in each template and uh, another button is next next section uh, it's button with specific function on each directive and uh, we create this uh, next uh, method here inside of index controller and method it method that uh, accepts state uh, type of string and uh, it just when we click on this button next section it just runs that this method 
next uh, from index controller that runs method next from our about info TypeScript file. Here it is. And this method next on inner scope doesn't accept any parameter but provides our state with uh, profile dot photos in this case. Uh, so when we so in future when we click on the same buttons in details edit view uh, now it doesn't work but we will apply a separate state in our details in our details info edit TypeScript file and when we click on it we will switch to our testimonials when we assign it to profile testimonials and uh, here is all here are all our buttons and when we open our uh, about info edit here it is we can find here also about edit. Uh, we can find here also buttons for uh, each section about parents additional info. Sometimes we have box here all our information and uh, we can uh, add <laughs> edit uh, everything separately for example I want to delete and save and everything successfully saved and uh, here on uh, save button we use ng click with controller and name of method uh, from index controller save kennel name and uh, in details in future since we uh, defined it on index controller and now our main controller we will use the same functionality for our canon here and now it doesn't work but when we apply it it will work the same and uh, we use ng click uh, for each of our save buttons and uh, in future we will apply it and it's easier with using main controller and uh, hope we will not have a lot of bugs and if about bugs and uh, some technical difficulties uh, we used we used uh, not ng click before we tried to apply ng submit attribute and we got a problem we got an exception with our form since when we use when you use ng um, submit uh, for uh, save for saving uh, uh, properties to database each time when we uh, when you uh, change it even one or two line uh, two fields uh, program tries to save all form to database and since all another fields are empty uh, we get an exception so we decided that it's better in such situation to use ng uh, ng click and with ng submit um, it's reasonable to use this functionality maybe when um, uh, you uh, create a form for uh, filling it uh, once for example for uh, uh, for signing into profile for create for creating a profile and filling all information in fields and then submitting in then maybe it's reasonable reasonable to use ng submit and another difficulty that uh, unfortunately we discovered that grant just task uh, don't catch all mm, library load changes 
and in many cases uh, when we encounter an obvious problem we need just to restart server and sometimes it's uh, annoying and time consuming and maybe we need to create a separate shortcut for uh, cleaning our application and then starting again and uh, that's <laughs> all about uh, our uh, profile uh, application for functionality for now we switch to using uh, just uh, one main controller index controller and we try to apply uh, in it all uh, functionality that we can use in future for our for creating our different profiles and uh, we use directives for each of our views and uh, we apply functionality that for uh, managing directives we also use index controller beside of uh, link function inside of directives templates and uh, uh, that's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.